Now it might be live. Let's see. What's the night live chat? Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Yeah, the other only problem with OBS, or not OBS, but with XSplit Broadcaster is it doesn't show anything except the picture that you guys are seeing. So, hey, there we go. GT1, how are you, sir? Eminem Short Line Railroad. Hello, Sparky. And good day to you, sir. And, oh, these are really dirty. Okay, video, you don't see this part as long as you're not in here yet. Using your shirt to clean my glasses. Hey, Hoser, how's it going, buddy? There we go. Nate Jackson, William Sullivan, School Kill River Valley, and TSG Multimedia. Sir, I got to say, A, thank you for doing that Tuesday show, and B, that was pretty cool. You uh, hit a topic right on the head, and the chat went with it. That was really cool. So, Tanner Man 68, we got Mike Thomas saying hi. North, North, North Ohio Railroad action. Saying good evening. BNSF 6951, hey, I know you. You look like this. <laughs> and PDRE Engineer, hi, Sparky, William, Vinny, JT1, John Tanzilla, BNSF 1982, saying hello to everybody twice. The Closet Branch, how are you, sir? And, wow, did I get through my whole list? Oh, there we go. Leslie Gilpin, good morning. Well, good morning to you too, sir. Ma'am, whatever. Duh, wow, I screwed that one right up, didn't I? That's bad. Nathan DeLay, how are you? And I had some fun. Yeah, that's good, John. Live, live streams are a lot of fun, but then... I think if you get back down to that switching tower and you do it like we did that day that I was there, switching back and forth from the trains, and 7 o'clock seemed to be a pretty good time for trains going by there. Well, 4 o'clock your time, I guess. So, But that was really cool. Dave's Trains, hello. And hey, Joe G. Joe G's in here? I didn't see Joe G's name. Joe G, say something. Say hi, man. And JT1, hello, school kill. D and R G W Iron Horse Roots saying hi to everybody. And Jack Jacks just loves one of my comments on one of his videos. That's cool. I should probably turn this down so you guys don't hear ding ding all the time. There's Joe G. Hello, John, Mike, TSG Multimedia. Doesn't say hi to me though. And if you did, I missed it. So but that's okay, Joe. Just just don't talk to me. It's it's just me holding the show, that's all. Nancy Jones, Spirit of Colorado Railroad. Nice to see you in here, my dear. Gaffa Haynes, how are ya? Ozers Oz. Track 10 trains. Hey, there's quite a few people in here. Hey, there's Mr. Barnabas Junction. So cool that you're in here, Jason. Because I am going to see you in what? Like five days? Heading over to the UK for a family vacation. Well, the wife and I are going over there, Amy. So that's going to be pretty cool because we're hanging out with Jason, Barnabas Junction, for two days. So guys, if you're not subscribed to Barnabas Junction, Jason, just say a few things in the chat a couple times so people can see your name in there. But subscribe to him because we might be doing a live stream or two from his phone when I'm over there. So you never know. I'm not sure how my phone's actually going to act up when I am over there and if it's going to connect to just a whole pile of possibilities. I know when I go down to the States... My, my phone doesn't like doing live streams whatsoever, so that's why I always use Vinny's computer when I'm down visiting him, so. Tom's Trains and Things. Hey, everybody. You too, Sparky. <laughs> hey, there you go, bud. That's how you see, guys. That's how you do it. Say hi to everybody and then to me, so. <laughs> All right. Dwight, how are you? And Kay Flan, the rail, ra the rail fan. Hello, Sparky. Good day, sir. And Dwight... Saying hi to PDRE. So excited to have you here. Me too. Oh, you mean when I get over there. <laughs> I'm getting really excited too. So we got that train pass. So we shouldn't have to take a taxi anywhere. Because that almost makes me nervous. Getting in a car over there. Because you guys drive on the wrong side of the road. It's just going to be crazy. I'm going to have to close my eyes like this. The whole trip that I'm in a car. 
So hopefully from the airport to your house isn't that far. Because I'm not going to see a thing. I have to hold my camera up like this. And then maybe watch it later. I'm, I'm not sure. So, But, yep, going to spend two days over there. Chatting it up with Jason from Barnabas. And then I'm going to head down and see Matt Slate for three days. And we're going to do the another YouTube meet and greet over in the UK. So that's pretty much one of the whole reasons why I'm going over there. It's Matt Slade's birthday, I think, is on the 6th. I'm not sure if he's in here or not. And Barnabas might know when his birthday is. I'm pretty sure it's August 6th, though. So happy birthday, Matt Slade, because I'll probably forget on the 6th, because if I don't write it down, it's gone. So I gave you a shout-out. You did? i got to watch your video then, Container Man. So but it's going to be a great time, and I'm really hoping Matt Slate has a lot more people than 75 at his YouTube meet and greet over there. And because uh, this is his birthday party too, I think. I think that's kind of how it's all being gathered around. So, and next year, yes, guys, we are doing the Strasbourg uh, Railroad Museum and everything else that's in Strasbourg. Heard you need at least two days to do it because there's so much stuff to look at. Just have to figure out a date, but it will be in May. Um, other than that, that's all I got for you. I'm trying to stick around like the 18th mark, but I'm not sure which weekend I'm going to go before that or after that. So, but that's going to be that. So, I'm driving in the Bahamas on the wrong side of the road with American cars. Well, that's just crazy. Stop watching the video and watch the road, Tom. <laughs> Ron Pisco, how are you? Dwayne Ernest. And everybody's still saying, everybody, hi, hi, hi. That Sparky Drive will be exciting. Not a chance. Um, I think it was about eight or nine years ago, I did take a trip to Australia, uh, meet up with a friend of mine over there, and she asked me if I wanted to drive. And I thought about it, and we come up to an intersection, and over there they drive on the wrong side of the road too. So we come up to an intersection, and we turn, and every time that we turned a corner, I ended up in my head on the wrong side of the road. Not a chance. Not even. I wouldn't even drive in a parking lot. So I, I'm gonna leave the drive-in to Jason, and we're good. I think. I think we're good. I haven't actually. Jason doesn't have any driving videos out there yet, so my eyes might really be closed. Don't really know. So, so if we go live here at 1 p.m., it will be 8 a.m. in your land. What? 1 p.m. 8 a.m. Really? You guys are five hours ahead of us. But, I don't know, I don't want to figure it out, so. Hastings BNSF N-Scale Modeler. The later in the north, the better spark. Uh, will allow me to bring my daughter one school is out for the year. Sweet! But, like I said, it's going to be around the May 18th mark. It's either going to be the weekend before or the weekend after, so. And Barnabas, Amy hits pretty hard, so if you scare me, I'm pretty sure she's going to smack you. I'm just saying. So, Jolie, so I want an Aussie 73 Falcon XP. Sweet. Don't know what it is, but sweet, because you want one. So, and I will be back, Sparky. I need to go chase a train. <laughs> Take video, Nancy, because your last one was pretty good. I like that one. And it's nice to see you out and about. So, and I can understand you got to get out of the apartment to stay cool. So my problem with right-hand drive cars is the turn signal. Stock is on the wrong side. And, yeah, I would agree with that. So Digger Evans, nice to see you, bud, popping in. And still everybody saying hi to everybody, which is cool. And I'm just sitting here doing absolutely nothing. That's kind of boring. I'm just reading chat. How boring is that? I would get boring with that. So woodworking with Amy. No, only you that gets hit. Oh, um, Barnabas, don't read that. Just, just, I didn't read that either. So, uh, Woodworking with Amy. Nice to see you in here. David Atkins. Hi, Sparky and everyone. I hope everything's going okay for you there, David Atkins. Um, that's about all I can say. I know you missed the trains on Tuesday thing, and, and things in real life happen. So I hope you look after things. And, and uh, like I said, everything's running okay for you. So, Sparky, are you having any plans to see Kate, Kathy Miller? Um, it did mention Kathy, or to Kathy that I was coming over, and that's about as far as that got. Like, we weren't making plans, but I got two days with Barnabas, three days with, with Matt Slate, and then five days with Amy. 
and I'm trying trying to squeeze in one more day of trains so I can go over and see Graham because I sent that big boy locomotive over to Graham and I'd really like to see it running on his layout in person but Graham sent me a message he's only going to be home for like two days that I'm kind of free to go over to his place so it's going to be kind of tight hopefully I get there though you never know yes I will be there yes you will be where anyway I don't want to know and Ron Pisco work has me beat up I can understand that you're working some long long hours and Dom 465 how about driving a stick on the wrong side of the road that would mean I'd have to drive with my left hand on the stick wouldn't it which would be like right crazy Amy is probably in the basement um she no, I think she's, she's watching your, your video. I know. She's in the chat, too. Yeah. And you got my shirt on. I'm not even wearing my shirt. Why are you getting my present? What's that for? What's that for? Are you trying to if say you, I got a big you, nose? If you bury it out. If I hold it like this, people think it's me? If you bury it out, you'll get a sweet treat. What? Bury it out, you'll get a sweet treat. Oh. Sweet treat. You're saying I got bad breath. You gave me a mint. No. <laughs> That's what you're saying. I got bad breath. Here's a mint. So. So. And here's Matt. So there is Matt Slate. So there's the two gentlemen I'm going over to see for the trains for five days. And by the sounds of it, they got my five days booked right up. So I am going to be one busy guy. So like I said, guys, if you're not, check out Barnabas Junction. Check out Matt Slate. They're both right there in the chat. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple live streams or videos or something with me in it on their channel. Just saying. At least there better be. Not making this flight for nothing, you know. <laughs> John Dilly, I like your shirt, Sparky. Me too. See if I can get a little bit closer for you guys. Already got the sniffles. Oh my goodness. BNSF6951. Now the reason why I'm wearing this shirt is because I want to talk about two contests that are going on very shortly. Container Man 68 you're in the chat too, I believe, is going live tonight and holding his contest live drawing right after my show. <laughs> hey, don't be laughing. They don't know what I'm doing yet. And the reason why I'm wearing this shirt is our cousin Vinny that does live streams on Friday nights at 8 p.m. needs 90 more people to get to his contest. So if we can get 90 more people subscribed to Venus F 6951, we can have another contest, and that's Yankee Dabbler, I believe, sponsoring his contest, and Roy Hardwick, and maybe a couple other people. So that's going to be pretty cool. But got, guys, we got to get him up 90 more subscribers. Hey, Ron Piscol, how's it going, buddy? Thank you very much. I love it. I love it. How, how was that for not telling you guys what I was doing, hey? <laughs> I love it. <coughs> and I, I, I have a shirt just like that. What, just like this one? Well then, wear it and make a video. Tell everybody to go subscribe to BMSF6951 so we can have a contest over there. Because I want to start winning some prizes. And I didn't see if Container Man put it in the chat or not. If his contest is right after my live stream. I believe it is tonight. So that's going to be kind of cool. So I'm not going to be long-winded or anything. So that's why I went live 15 minutes before your stream. I might not go live tonight, Sparky. Oh, well, there we go. We heard it right from my mouth. And Container Man's typing. So so he might not get a chance to go live tonight. So we might not have that contest. But it will be coming up soon when he gets a chance. So that's it for the contest. Unless you guys know some other people that are having contests that are on right now, let us know in the chat so we can all check them out. Because we all like to win stuff. We all like to participate. We all like to show support to these other channels. So, have you done the Artemis Junction's thing? got the old light thingy going. I got the old wiggy thingy going. For the old Ron Pisco. What? 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 Have you done the number thingy thingy? No, I'm not doing a number thingy tonight. That's Why? only when I have contests I do that. Oh, that's boring. Well, speaking of contests, Wilmer had that contest for the t shirt. Last night, after TSG Multimedia was live. And that is a lot of fun. Yay! Sitting. So you're just going to sit here and play with lights? Yeah. All right, whatever. <laughs> Love it. 
So that was a lot of fun, being on this side, which is your side right now, actually participating and, and putting numbers and, and watching the chat go by, and to watch Wilmer laugh as much as he was laughing on how fast the numbers go by, because what you guys see is probably only half of what the numbers that are really going by in the chat. It just zoom, just like that. So it, it's, it's pretty cool. So speaking of that, though, once I come back from the UK, we're definitely going to have to start talking about the contest because I got a locomotive sitting here in HO scale that I have to give away because Lauren from Otter Valley Railroad gave it to me and said you have to hold a contest. And I'm just waiting on an N scale DCC and sound locomotive so you N scale guys can have a prize too. So we're going to change that up a little bit. N scale Union Pacific Evanston Subdivision, how are you, sir? And we got Hot Rod Rodney in the house saying hi. SMT Mainland, Mainline. Gotta learn how to talk tonight. Uh oh. Uh, can't beat a good old Class 37. Haha, <laughs> no, sir. And I will be shopping for one of those when I am over there. I'm telling you. I want one. Just and then, I might even have to pick up like a really cheap one. Or if you even have just a shell one. Because I want to paint it like Droopy the Dog. Because that's what it reminds me. The Class 37s remind me of Droopy the Dog. So I, I might just have to paint one up. Never, You never know. So, uh, My system is not fast enough to do live streams. Uh, yep, you do need lot fast internet, fast computers. Great graphics card is always a good help too. So, Good, how are you? Track 10 trains. Matt, are you talking Sparky on a 37 hauled rhymey train? And I probably like kibosh that all up too. So. But, no, he doesn't have to talk me into it. I just like that much. I'm going to be shopping for one. So, what literally live... Oh, wow, you might have to read that comment. I can't read it. Me either. What livery... I know what the word is. I just can't say it. Welcome to English 101. Anyway, what class 37 are you after? I have no idea. Just a good-looking one. Mommy knows how to speak English. Go ask her. I know how to speak English, too. I just can't read. Oh, she's very good at speaking. Oh, jeepers, jeepers. And I can read what TSG just said. He said T. Oh, see, I can't even read Let that. See. WTF. Oh. You better not know what that stands for. You're too young. I do. I've Hello, Harrison that. from SMT. David Atkins. There seems to be quite a few Class 37s between Griswold Parkway and Cardiff. So I should see a few of them because I'm going from Crewe to Cardiff, which is about an hour and a half train ride, so I've been told. So I should see a couple. You'd be a girl if you read this. What? Be a girl, well, I gotta get a super chat to wear that one. Yeah. I like that one though, that was cool. So, hmm, Barnabas Junction is thinking, uh oh, stop it, stop it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, the contest guys, like I said, I hope you guys put some in the chat because I'd like to go check out a few more contests if people are having them. And Leslie will be taking him to see it, but if we have time, we will go on it. Uh, was I supposed to read that? Because <laughs> I like going on locomotives. John, TSG Multimedia has got me hooked on doing cab things. He got me into two cabs of steam locomotives, and now I'm just kind of like drooling every time I get close to one. <laughs> the door is open. I want in it. So, how far north are you traveling in the UK, Sparky? Mm -hmm. um, Matt Slade will have to answer that question because he is holding on August 10th a get-together for YouTube. And that's north, but I can't remember where it is. So. You'd be upset because there was this train. You gotta speak up so they can hear you, not me. There was this train couples at the Big Apple that we went when we were with Anna. Uh -huh. Anna Mom. Yeah. yeah, we went in it. Okay. You can't go in it. So, the big question today, guys, what I was asking is train cars. And no, Girl. I'm not talking about ones that you drive at all. These are train cars, rail cars. Ooh. I want to know what everybody's favorite rail car is. Here, can I, I have that now? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Woohoo! Where that? Yay! Days a boy now. And Dwayne Ernest, thank you very much, sir. I like this one. Just nice long flowing hair. There's also this one. I like this one. That's fun. Well, we can talk about that one, and you can hold it up when I get that far. Yay! And it's Container funny. Man sixty eight. Like I said, he's got his contest, guys. So if he's not doing live streams tonight. We'll have to really start watching his channel for when it's going to be. Valley Brook 2 Model Railway. Hey, sir. Stuart, he's another gentleman I'm going to be visiting when I'm over in the UK. So that's going to be really cool. We got a lot of UK guys in here so far tonight. Awesome. Can I move in this? 
You can hold whatever you want, but you got to hold it up to the camera there. Wow. That's where the Seven Valley Railway is. And gondolas are the best. Yeah. And center beam and coal hoppers. And my favorite rolling stock is Trinity 5161 cubic foot covered hoppers. Wow, you even got it right down to the number and everything. So there you go. That one is a that one there was a gift from John Dilly when I was down in Phoenix. And that's got real coal in the top of it. Oh, that's why it makes things. And that's why it's making a mess every time you're moving it around. So and that's a gondola. And that's got a load in it of scrap aluminum that I made up. So you made that? I made the top load there. Does yep. it come out? Yes. Jump it upside down. Oh, awesome. now you got aluminum flakes all over the place. <laughs> now it makes everything pretty. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I was the one that told you to turn it upside down. I so <laughs> guess fault. that one's my fault. Jeff Allen said tank cars and gondolas. And the closet branch. I like ESP 50 foot hydro cushion box cars. I have one of those downstairs. I have two of those downstairs in my box uh, from my old layout there. It's put away for right now, but I was actually going to bring it up. So EJ and E Jeff coil steel cars. Ooh, and JT1 likes box cars and well cars. Who is that talking? Um, every once in a while, Caitlin walks in behind me. <laughs> so. And yep, that's a tank car I made up. So just watch the that's 15 minute live it. stream. I got two hours to drive still today. So you're not going live after me, but you Bob, just leave it. I'll leave it for you in the chat an hour from later. I'll watch Ooh. it if I don't see it now. So this is one of it's them. Sparky Slaughter. <laughs> Thanks, Vinny. <laughs> Yep, that was a custom painted car yeah, one from says Peter, one says CP Rail 8748. One says my name. What? My mommy's. Yeah, you're the one that says your name, I think, is downstairs in the basement, too. People sign this stuff. I've got a few 40 foot grain box cars, and that was Mr. David Atkins. And holy Dwayne, these things get really warm really fast. Oh, wow. <laughs> you live with long and hair. And now I'm going to have long hair all over my arm for a while. <laughs> Valley Brook, can't wait to see okay, you next step. Wednesday. You are doing a live stream from here. Um, I kind of thought about that, Valley Brook, but if I do a live stream over there for 7 o'clock, that's midnight, so we're all going to have to be up pretty late. And I don't know how that's going to work out. So. Yeah. But we could go early, make it like a midday live stream from over there. Yeah, we'll talk about it. You never know. So, hey, man, that's my wig. No, your was that your no your wigs. You're the your wigs. This one, John. You were the crazy one right there. So there. Why do you keep holding up all these cars, but sure you're not that. telling anybody what they are? I don't know what they are. Well, how can you not know what you they are? You were supposed to tell them. Watch. I wasn't watching what you were doing. Fine, I'll redo do it, and then you talk about them. All right. You hold them up, and I'll talk about them. So that's an ore car. <laughs> And that's from Chuck Baker. Wow. Oh, and you lost the ore right out of it. What? <laughs> now you're throwing it all over the place. So these are like coal cars, but they're a lot smaller. And they hold a heavier ore or a heavier load. That's why the car is so much smaller because the loads are heavy. Yep. Up. And this is a tank car. And mm -hmm. it's a really big tank car. So like that's probably like 31,000 gallon. Maybe that's what the 31 on the side of it means. Maybe. I'd have to read the fine print on that one. But uh, tank ooh. cars, you can hold any kind of liquid, right from corn syrup all the way to fuel. Ooh, it works. That is a stock car. Are you going to show anybody? Fine. Okay. Yeah, and the doors open on pretty much all the stock cars that you can buy, a doors open on them. So those are really cool, but you can't find those in real life anymore. How come? So moving livestock around so you can put pigs in there or cows in there. Pig. And, yeah. Pig. Lots of pigs. Mommy had a baby, a baby cow named Baby. It got okay. struck by lightning. All right, that was a good story. Thank you. <laughs> and that is a covered hopper four bay. And you can hold this one holds plastics, yeah. but you can hold flour, corn, grain, all kinds of stuff in that. Dang and then it! it was one a more. Different kind oh, of, two more. This is a different Yay. kind of covered hopper. And it's an air slide hopper mm -hmm. because it's all pressurized. So you put all the stuff in it. And this is more like for flowers and stuff like that, maybe. And then 
pump the air into it and it blows the load out the bottom. Yay. Wait, wait, wait. I'll put this back on. I promise. Okay, guys, uh, gotta go dig. now. Bye. Dad. See you later, Digger um, Evans. Nice Dad. to see you. Monitor going to sleep. That's okay. Hopefully the monitor is already going to sleep and I still stay live. Who knows? Uh, can't stay, Dad. guys. It's podcast week and I'm editing. And can't wait to wait. watch that one, John. This Looking is forward a weird to one. it. But that it, is called a well car. It's got and that's got a these. special paint job from Joji. It's got those two yeah, things. And these ones are very, go. very, very delicate. They are? Well, they're very breakable. There's oh, lots of little parts on this one all over the place. So, But these cars are the new box cars, basically, because they just Yay. take the containers and stick them on the bottom of the well car. And Santa says hello. Okay. Hi. No. Yeah. But, so if you like to old box cars, maybe you're really into well cars nowadays, because if you're into modern freight, well, that's a modern train right there. It's showing. Yay. Yeah, of course it's showing. I like what it says. But I am a big fan of box cars. Right. Now, if you're running steam locomotives and stuff like that, the old 40 and 50 foot box cars are really cool. Got to have a bunch of them. And if you guys can see, this one's actually made in the Canada Southern Railroad paint scheme, which is the big station that I got that's five and a half feet. That is. The Canada Southern main offices and rail station, passenger station, from way back in the early 1900s. Queso. So, got a few of those. I looked them up on Amazon and there just happened to be some. I thought, well, right on. I think I ended up buying three of them. Now, the other thing with going to old shows, like train shows and stuff like that, and you got old mom and pa selling stuff. You can probably buy some old Tyco stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So if you get into some older Tyco stuff, what I would encourage you to do is buy it for like a buck or two. Why not? And then do your own paint scheme on it. So I painted this one up red to look like a maintenance of the way. And I have the crane and, and flat cars and stuff that go with it also. But this one I painted the words water only on. Put the CN logo on the side of it. Painted it all red. And as you can kind of see, it's nice and dirty, too, because it was one of the cars in my flood that hasn't been cleaned up yet. You think I'd have that done by now, but... The flood hasn't been cleaned up? Well, not these cars. There's oh, still got a I box the of these cars yet, that. so... Uh -huh. It's annoying how that happened, but... I'm missing another train, UP Intermodal. Oh, dear. Intermodal? They got box cars on that one, then. Oh, no, they don't. They have... Well, cars! Ha-ha! <laughs> And then, like I said, the good thing about the well cars is you can put any kind of container on it. But I just happen to have two from Joe G, along with the well car itself, which is pretty cool. So I wouldn't mind getting a whole train of these just to start running a little bit of modern stuff. But I can't see it. Like I said, I like the box cars better. So now, I like that tanker Sparky. Very cool. Mods done to it. Thank you very much, SMT. And CSR, oh, CRSR-8, the frames would be because of the weight and filled in with something heavier than flour and plastic pellets. I can't they see. hold a max of 5,600 cubic foot. See, and that's why I like the chat, is you guys are more knowledgeable about some of this stuff than I am. So throw it up in the chat when I make a mistake, or I just don't know. Wear this one. I'll wear this one. <laughs> well, I'm this. not wearing anything yet. I don't like this one. I only put I those on for Super Chats. Hello, I'm Milton. Nice to see you. There are three firefighting tank cars, like 1970 Euro single domes. And I think CSX is doing a lot of the uh, training stuff along with uh, single dome tank cars, too. So, JT1, life with Melissa. How are you, my dear? And Rick Bailey, sorry I'm late. Hi, everybody. Well, you're like right on time for right now. So, so a couple of other cars that aren't sitting out. Like I said, we got the coal hoppers, and there's lots of different varieties of that. I covered that in another live show quite a while ago, actually. So, But these things are neat because you can make your own loads for them, too. These are more of them. Yeah, I know. And one of the better cars I like are the gondolas because, again, you can make your own loads for these, or you can just run them empty, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure this one because it's really cool. What's that one? 
that was my live show from two weeks ago. I want to Go ahead and show it then. What kind of car is it? I don't know. It's a bulkhead flat car. I'm not the train. You're the one who was a train monster. Uh huh. I'm not a train monster. Yes, you are. Joe Jane, I think that was a request for you to make Sparky oh, yeah, a whole yeah, well yeah, car yeah. train. Went back on Nope, it wasn't. I've already got a couple, so that's kind of cool. And I already owe Joe G a whole train myself. So Matt Slay, Leslie, yeah, should be running. It's in Cardiff at 2.33 p.m. I'll have to go back on the chat and read the rest of that part. That's for sure. And Dwight, did those coal loads come with the car? This one did not because it was made by John Dilly. And he was in the chat, but he might be on his way home right now. And that's real coal in that one. And these loads, I believe, were made. This one doesn't come out. I guess that one does. Do and the ore cars, which were made by Chuck Baker. And I'm pretty sure he made his own coal loads. This looks like a piece of lava rock, actually. Lava. Or, but those fit right in there. But. That's one thing when I'm buying coal hoppers is I like to make sure they actually come with a coal load already in them. Then you can take it out if you need to. So uh, I made a Coors Reefer. That would be really cool to see. And my son would love those. Yeah. Never all the all kids like it doesn't matter boy or girl, all kids like trains. So no. Sparky will be live during his visit here, but we are five hours ahead of Canada, so people will have to be prepared to tune in earlier. I don't mind that. <laughs> so, These are cool. I took two of them. Now, you get into boxcars and stuff like that. Well, you get into the 80-foot one, or 40-foot one, pretty small, and then you get into the modern-day stuff, which is an 80-foot right? boxcar. Or is it not? Like Double it's doors. Gonna, oh, it's gonna fall off. And these would run really good in a consist with those, an auto rack. Now, I don't have any of the older day model or, uh, auto racks where they have the open sides and everything else. But it would be really cool to have a whole train full of these, too. And then, like I said, throw a couple of these in there. That would look pretty cool. Again, modern day choo choo train. Show those three. Why do you keep giving me all kinds of stuff? No, those are the ones I want to show because they're cool. Okay. Especially that one. Well, if the show's over too early, it's because she one. keeps pushing. You gotta show this one. No, not that one. Not that one first. Okay. So we're gonna show this one, which yeah. is a caboose. Which again, if you're in the 1990s and beforehand, they all ran with cabooses. Now this is a pretty good one. It all lights up. Separately applied handrails, grab irons. All kinds of stuff. Really good model. I like it. Up. And that's not a caboose. Well, it looks like something like that. I like it. And then you get the side bay window caboose. It sticks out on the sides, which I think would be a little more convenient for the conductors or whoever they were. Guys riding in the caboose, sticking their head out the side, watching down the train. Because they were watching for hot spots and stuff. No, please put that one back. Oh, this one? Yes, carefully. Is this one special? Or is it a secret? No. Redbird Tony 2010. Nice model. Nice to see you, sir. That passenger cars, pre-superliners are cool. I didn't bring up any passenger cars. I used to have a whole bunch of them, but I think I sent them all over down to Peter's place. Because he was bad. using them to practice on his track. Paddle inside his UFO builder. Good day, sir. How are you? And how's your drone building coming along? Jack Jack, 10 more tankers, and I'll be at 100. Jack Jack, I got something just for you. This is called a flat car right here. It's a very, very appropriate name for it because it's a car. It's flat, and you can put anything on it you want. And you can even run them. With tankers if you wanted to so you have a train running like that not a problem flat car but if you're not really into just plain old flat cars and myself I'm not really into the flat cars because I look at this and then I look at a car like this this car is forty dollars this car is forty dollars and I can't understand why this car is not twenty it doesn't take very much material to make this opposed to this 
Should be cheaper if you ask me, but it ain't. So the sun. <coughs> And then you guys will have to tell me what the name of this car is because I know you got bulkhead flat cars which have shown already and then you got center beam flat cars which have a beam down the center but this one's got pieces on the outside so I would almost think it's for holding logs or telephone poles or something strange like that. <coughs> Do I need to show this? Yeah Jack Jack you can use a flat car as a buffer car there you go. Oopsies. So, <laughs> uh, if Sparky does his Wednesday live from here at 7 p.m., it will be 2 p.m. in Toronto. Yeah, cool. So that might be an idea. We'll see what we're up to that night, though. I should them. Okay. Whatever that. Was. Then you can get into some specialty cars. So if you live in the Great White North like I do, you're gonna need a couple of these on your layout. Nice plow car, seen from the front. And you can always put the wings out on it. And these are pretty well detailed cars too. Uh, that would go on the front of your train, so in front of the diesel. And I believe they actually control the train from the cab of this thing. But I always like these too. Not quite my favorite car, but it's the new type of log car. Oh. I kind of thought it would be for carrying logs and stuff like that. So what I used to use this one for on my first layout is whenever I was doing a running video, I'd always put my phone in it like this. And then we go around the track. I always thought that was kind of cool. So if you're looking for a car that holds a cell phone, ammo, there you go. Works awesome. Just saying. Pretty sure that's not the right load for it, but. And we get back into the modern day boxcars. And again, when I'm buying boxcars, I like the ones you can open the door. We're doing awesome. Because I think it'd be really cool to make your own loads and stuff. You can make some cardboard boxes, put them inside, or you can put a little hobo guy riding on the side of it, flying down the tracks. I think that would look all right. And open both doors. You can see right through it, eh? Just saying. Eh? Ralph Greenwood, how are you, sir? Dave's trains, that's a good idea. And did they make narrow gauge snowplow car? I am not sure if they do. You would think so, because a lot of narrow gauges were like in Northern California, I guess, wouldn't have snow, though, would they? So, maybe not. That didn't work. Or did it? Nope. Nope. There we go. Finally got the light shut off behind me. Every once in a while it hit me in the eyeballs. Sparky, you should get a Polaroid cube and track cam video. I want one, but I'm still waiting to watch videos from your channel on what that looks like when it's going around, how hard or easy it is to use it. So, a dollar for an S scale rolling stock at the hardware store. Huh. 1970s, I brought a brand new box car for 99 cents each. Yeah, they were a lot cheaper. When I was a kid and I'd go to Leisure World in Canada, and the most expensive rail car was like $5.99. Most of them, though, were $1.99 to $2.99. So, just saying. Razzle Dazzle, how about ribbon rail trains? You are going to have to explain that because I'm not sure what a ribbon rail train is. Oh, yes, I do. That's where the rail is like three, four hundred feet long and goes on all the flat cars. Again, Jack Jack, he said flat cars. That'd be really cool, but I don't know who makes one yet. And uh, Peter and I were talking about it on the weekend. And he was going to look it up for me and see if he could. There is a company out there that does make them. So, hey Sparky, I have to go have a great trip. Safe travels. Thank you, Ron Pisco. And thank you for popping in, bud. And don't be working too hard while I'm gone, eh? So, got more coming soon. Cool. Now, gondolas. You can. These are pretty universal cars. You can put pretty much anything you want in them. And is this one of them? No, nope, this one isn't it. But you can buy some of them. The ends actually pop right out. So, you can put longer loads in them. 
That's kind of cool too. I do have a couple of them. The ends pop out because I've actually lost one of the ends. But again, you can put anything in there from wheel sets, old rusty wheels, ties, switches. I've actually got one of these that got made for me by Victor. See if I can find it. And this one is really, really delicate. I don't think I'd run it too much. But this one was a custom made car and it would carry two switches in it. So turnouts from there to there and then the turnout would be there. So they were pre-made turnouts made by the uh, railroad companies and then they just shipped them in these cars to their destination. They just pick them up with a crane and drop them into place. I thought that was really cool. But like I said, this one was a custom made car. Oh, can't see it on that side, so I'll slip it around. You can even see it. It's got little control levers and stuff inside there. Excellent car. Very, very delicate. So I'm going to put that down before I move it around too much. And N scale exact rail gondolas are some of my favorite on the layout. Sweet. Gondolas don't hold water. Well, brand new ones probably do. Unless they drill holes in them for leaky or leakage, <laughs> drainage. So, SF Raton NZ Hi Sparky, how is the new layout room coming on? The roof trusses will be delivered on the 18th and the following weekend. I should have five or six guys over here pop putting them up. So, we should in a day, hopefully, maybe a day and a half, get the roof on there. Hopefully get it shingled. Then all I got to do is put some siding on the shed, call for an inspection, and bam, it'll be done. So, wish me luck. That's at the end of August. So, Joshua Williams, if you do anything else, I want to go to end scale so that I can do a prototypical layout of the Israel chemical plant. Selective compression, Jack Jack. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? Hold some pre-made switches by truck a couple times. That'd be awesome. See, Dwayne, that's the kind of stuff you got to get videos of. And show us all. So the gondola is giving me a good idea for On Track Tuesday. Sweet. Good idea, Dad. Glad we can help out. Jack-Jack, <laughs> uh, I just passed out. Uh-oh. Wake up. And to make a tank train, yeah, go with smaller. Now that was going to be another question I was going to ask people. And this is another car that I haven't cleaned up from my flood yet. But somebody did mention coil cars. I really like these too. So, but you can run them like that or you can make your own coil loads. Now what I was thinking for a coil load is if you just took tin foil and cut it down to like the size of your, like the width of your finger. Because that would fit in there, right? And then just rolled it. Tin foil is pretty shiny. So... Maybe that would make a good coil load for coil cars. Haven't tried it yet. Maybe we'll have to do that sometime. But got to clean that up. I got three of these cars and all of them need a good cleaning. Uh, ha -ha, I know it will require 4,000 tank cars and hoppers. Yeah, that would be a lot. Okay, so the rest are just my bulkhead flat cars. So the question I got, of course, I'm sure everybody's already been saying it. What is your favorite rail car? Now, for me, and I'm really going to throw a couple people off here because they think they know what my favorite rail car is. I got two of them. If it is for model railroading, my favorite car is the stock car. Simple fact, you just don't see them anymore. And I think back in the day when these would have been full of pigs or cows, that would have been an awesome train. Not to kind of smell or ride behind or even be close to, but to hear that going through, old steam trains on the front of that, whole pile of cows mooing away on flying down the tracks, and then all the stock pens and stuff that go with that. Like, there's so many scenes that you could just do with the stock car. So, <laughs> no Jack Jacks, not the flat car. So, for your model railroad, Stock cars. Now, in real life, 
I am a fan of the boxcar. Now, I used to rail fan a lot when I was a kid, back in the 80s, and every train had tons of boxcars. And there were so many different paint schemes with boxcars from different railroads, different companies, different products, and you could ship pretty much anything in them. Back in the day, they shipped the crane. Grain, grain, grain. They didn't ship cranes, they shipped cranes. I'm going to stop talking about that now. But auto parts, boxes. Um, boxcar Benny's talked about boxcars on his layout that he's going to do, where they ship in the wood in boxcars. And then they ship out fine furniture in boxcars. Two things right there on your layout. Very universal car. You can do anything on your layout, any kind of industry. Bam, right there with a the boxcar. But a lot of people, just for the prototypical way of doing things nowadays, they like the well cars and the containers. And I do like them. If you can get some really nice looking containers that go on them. Then they're pretty sweet. So, Hobby Lobby sells metal tread in sizes, wrap it around in some tube, and it looks real. Again, have to go back and read some of that comment. Container Man 68. Popping stickers in. So, I'll give you this one. <laughs> and not loading your cows in stock car, Sparky, say it ain't. So, uh, I've probably got 50 cows still left. I gave two horses to Dave Atkins because that's all he took. Could have took a whole box. But I think I could throw some cows in some of those and it would look pretty cool. And I believe Broadway Limited actually makes some of these that have sounds come out of them. So that wouldn't be a bad idea too. <coughs> those are nice containers, just saying. Uh, you must mean these firehouse whiskey ones, Joe? So... I, I'm very, I love these firehouse whiskeys. But, they look really, really good on a firehouse whiskey well car. Now that's a nice looking train. Right there. Look good with boxcar on both sides of it. There. New and old. Woohoo! <laughs> So, good night. Got to work tonight. That's NSVA train 911. Have a good night, bud. Don't work too hard. And I'll come back for them. Okay, Dave. Anytime you guys, anytime Dave Atkins, you want to pop back over, you just let me know. I'll open up that spare bedroom for you again. Oh, not with sound. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd like the stock cars with sound in them or not. Maybe one. But you wouldn't want a whole layout of that. So, Hornby have a sound fitted box wagon. Do you got one? Do I get to hear it when I'm over there? That'd be different. How about the smell? Well, this, well I guess you could just kind of go to a farm and grab a piece of dung, throw it in the bottom of it, and you could simulate the smell too. Why not? How realistic do you really want to make your layout? Put a pile of cow crap in the bottom of it. Yes. No, don't do it. Jack-Jack, <laughs> uh, my layout will not be complete. Okay. Leslie, have you seen the BLI stock car with sounds? I have not seen one yet. I've seen one on like on YouTube. I think that was just a BLI um, advertisement, actually. But, whew, thank you, Container Man. Very cool. But I'm not even sure if Otter Valley Railroad has those or not yet. So, no and hell no. And, ew. <laughs> you must be talking about the cow patties. Kentucky Deluxe Boxcar, and Nora is coming in with an LOL Container Man. I got a couple of those Firehouse Whiskey containers and well cars. Thank you, Joe G, just waiting for my Firehouse Whiskey covered hoppers. I got one of those, too. I got a boxcar, actually. So, and Joe G, Jack Jack, I haven't forgotten about you. Ah, there's some deals going on in the chat. That's cool. Catch you later. Bye, Sparky. I'll take it easy, Ratton. We'll talk to you later on. Now, for specialty cars, I do have that ballast spreader car that... Who made that one? 
Walter's Proto did that car, and it's put away in the filing in the cabinet behind me, in its box. I was going to get that out for the show tonight too, but it's just a little too delicate. But what other cars can you guys think of that are like specialty cars, besides plows or a ballast spreader, or wherever it went? Oh yeah, I put it way up there, so I don't break it. Or gondolas that were meant for carrying switches and stuff. There's got to be other specialty cars that maybe you guys have seen. Now, ATSF Venture Spur N Scaler, Tom Piling, he actually saw and videotaped it, a four-dome tank car. I've never seen one in real life, but he got to see one, and he filmed it. That'd be cool if we could get that into a model. That'd be kind of sweet. See you later, Kevin. And... The snow plow looks like a converted caboose. Well, they are pretty close. Just that's a lot smaller the cab for it. But basically it's the same design. It's all hydraulics and, and pumps and stuff in the back of these. I've been in a real one uh, that was at a museum. Which was pretty cool. Not a lot of room up there, that is for sure. And it was very hard to actually see down the rails. The rails, when you're looking out of that cab, you were looking like way up here on the rails because of this little beak. But you had to have the beak on it because it did that and then threw the snow at the side. So, hey look, I'm still live. Well, my computer's actually still live broadcasting. I'm not lagging behind. That's kind of good. So, almost done, Tony. I like cranes too. Oh, I do have a couple of those. Hidden in the closet, I'm sure. But cranes are one of my another one of my favorite. But the only problem with cranes is you can only like really have one, two, maybe three of them on your layout before it starts looking a little like you like cranes too much. So tunnel clearance car. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is either, Tom. And I have a box car. We used to hit a spot on the track and the doors opened and it showed two guys. That would be cool too. Now some of those old Tyco sets are still out there. You can buy them at old train shows and stuff. So Dave's Trains, I have a sand car 2 1960s roundhouse product. That'd be nice. I like the new DCC sound crane car if they put sound in it. Or yeah. So I'm not sure if I'd like a DCC crane. One that actually turns and twists and goes up and down. I'm not sure. I probably forget about it or something, hit a button and, and take out a tunnel in five or six trees or something. So there is a maintenance of waste specialist cars, tampers, etc. And some of those are kind of expensive. You get into I think tricks models and stuff like that. How's that? I like your Conrail crane. Thank you, Ralph. And like I said, it's in a box somewhere. I don't can't be digging it out. Maybe when I come back from holidays I can dig some of these ones out. So yeah, I can't wait, Vinny, maybe but my mail call on on track Tuesday. So you must be talking about your model that Vinny built you. And that was a good little series that he did there too. So speaking of other people, where are we? where are we in this? And I'm not sure why she gave me that. Little N scale Katie Caddy Caboose. Kind of cool. And it's actually got the newer style couplers on it too, not those Rapido ones. So, but maybe I'll have to give that away at a contest at some point too. I need your address. Send. Hey, you got my address, Vinny, and you can send me anything anytime. And I know you weren't talking to me, but I still throwing that out there. So, and hey, Tony, don't take out the willow tree. No. And the willow tree is nicely packed in a box all by itself, so you can't, I couldn't wreck it whatsoever. Crooked River and Eastern Railroad saying hello. And not sure who made mine, but it's out of Europe. That's another thing, too. You can get into some of the Europe and British models, and they're completely different looking, too. Like a lot of the UK train wagons, as they call them, wagons instead of rail cars, are a lot smaller. Like, I don't know, I'm not sure why. But it's going to be really cool to be over there with the old video camera, non-stop. If there's a freight train to be seen, I want to get that on film. Because you don't see a lot of freight. 
trains over in the UK. Almost everybody shoots videos of passenger trains, all kinds of locomotives, very few freight trains. And everybody's saying hi to Dave, which is cool, you mean my willow tree? <laughs> Jack Jack, someday buddy, I will make you a willow tree. They, they're very time consuming, but they do look cool, so I'll, I'll get on that next month too, so. Forget what I was going to grab from behind me there for a second, but anyway. So, like I said, guys, Barnabas Junction and Matt Slate, they were in the chat earlier. I think, pretty sure they're still in the chat now. Um, subscribe to them. Check them out. And that's where I'm taking some holidays is over in the UK. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing videos over there, live streams, so on and so forth. So if I can't get a Wednesday night live stream up, which I'm pretty sure I'm not, if it's going to be midnight over there, it will be earlier on the Wednesday. So maybe two-ish or whatever. Just have an eye out. Hit the old bell icon so if I do go live early, it'll pop up on your screen, which would be really cool. And like I said, same with Matt Slate, same with Barnabas Junction. Because, hey, you might even see a double live stream, his channel and my channel at the same time. Might be kind of cool. So, it's a massive freight area here in Crewe. Really? Cool. So, like I said, I don't see a lot of videos with freight trains over there in the UK. So, I was hoping to look for some of those. So, how am I doing on my list? Contests, like I said, we got Container Man 68, but tonight he will not. He's still got a couple hours of driving left. So, he's not going to be able to hold his contest right away, but I'm sure he said it in the chat when he's going to. I have to go back and, and check, but you guys already know about it. Or if he's still here for anybody that's new, he can put it up in the chat now, or somebody can. So, but Container Man 68's contest is pretty much wrapped up. Just got to do the contest itself now. And Vinny, last time I checked, needed 90 more subscribers so he can hold his contest of 4,500 people. So, don't forget BNSF 6951. Check out his channel. Subscribe to him. And let's get a contest going out of him, too. And, like I said, watching Wilmer's contest after TSG last night, that was amazing to take part in that. So, I'm definitely going to have to start holding more contests on my channel. So, guys, check out my Patreon page. It's my Patreons that make it possible that I can hold a lot of contests and stuff. Because the money from Patreon goes right in 100% back into this live chat. More Patreons I got. And you can do a $5 Patreon. Five bucks a month isn't much, guys. Add it all up. We can get some really cool prizes. So, hey, for five bucks, you might just win a locomotive that's DCC and sound. Who knows? So, like I said, check out my Patreon page. Help me out with that. That would be really cool. And it helps you guys out winning some prizes. Getting some other content on here. Uh, I want to get back into some track cleaning cars and uh, kits, details things like that so I'm gonna have to buy those kits and stuff like that whenever I buy a trap cleaning kit car or well you guys saw it with my scenery kits right always bought two showed you how to use one gave the other one away so I want to start doing that again so again patreon check it out hey there's the link from Nora putting it up there for me thank you sir that's very kind of you so like I said no more Wednesday night live chats at 7 p.m. Eastern until August 28th. That's when I'm actually going to be home, situated, back to work, routine, plain old life is back to normal. August 28th will be the next Wednesday night live chat at 7 p.m. Eastern. But anytime in between now and then, you never know. I might just do live videos. Some from the UK. And when we're putting the roof trusses on the house, I might just do a live stream of that too, just to see how crazy that's going to look. You never know. So, after tonight, guys, August 28th is when I'll be back. Going to the UK, Barnabas Junction, Stuart, Matt Slate. Check them out. I've said it a few times now. The YouTube meet and greet on August 10th. I hope to meet a lot of people up there. So, that's, good. that's just going to be really, really cool. And then I'll get to see more channels from over there too. Rail cars, what different kinds do we got? We got
we got a whole table full. What other uses? Eh, it kind of said it. You guys, I'm sure, said it in the chat. My favorite, like I said, stock cars for model railroading, box cars in real life. And anybody have any travel plans that they want to throw up there? Not when, but if you're going somewhere train related, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe there's a couple of people in the chat that want to do the same thing. So that's always something else you guys can talk about. But what I really want to know right now, I have on my channel, I really don't know what I have. I should probably look. But I want to know how many subscribers you guys have on your channel. And I'm going to see if I can read it off. And s s I have 3,410 followers on my channel. And like I said, that's what's coming up on mine is a trip to the UK. So <coughs> Jack Jack says, put them up in the train room. Okay, Nora. And I want a t-shirt from everyone's start a collection. And I got to start making more t-shirts. So that's going to be another question I got for you guys soon enough. Who wants a t-shirt? But I'm, I can't really say that tonight because I'm not even wearing mine. I'm wearing Vinny's. Someone mentioned Steamtown again. Uh, I believe that was SMT is mentioning Steamtown for next year. Uh, we're doing Strasbourg for the YouTube meet and greet in May. So, uh, like I said, I just got to figure out which weekend around the May 18th mark. It's either going to be the weekend before that or the weekend after that. So, try to keep that open. All you guys, the Closet Branch, I'll do a premiere in 30 minutes. So, guys, Closet Branch is going to be doing a premiere. That's going to be kind of cool. See if I can move this up so we're not cutting off the top of my head. And David Atkins has 480, Nathan DeLay 545, Dave Piper 151, Kenwood Griffin Jr. 112, D.I.K. Railroad. Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? He has 17. Come on, guys. Check out some of these smaller channels. Anybody you don't know or don't recognize, check out their channel. See if you like their channel. Hit the bell and subscribe. Why not? Let's make this community grow. Barnabas Junction 2727. That is a cool number, my friend, right there. Uh, Rick Bailey, I only have four subs, haha, but it's okay because I don't post anything. Well, that is one kind of, you got to kind of have to post a video, you know, and then you get more subs. Container Man 68, 1,069, still need more watch hours, though. So everybody tonight when you go to bed, put it on Container Man 68's channel, hit one of his playlists, Turn the volume way down, and when you wake up in the morning, then you can shut it off. That gets his watch hours way up. If everybody did that, bam, that's helping him out. So, uh, Jack, Jack, let me know when you're going to make an order, Sparky, Vinny, Jeff, Nora. Uh, I will probably do mine at the end of August. But So, remind me in my next live stream on the 28th, Jack, Jack, to take an order from you guys, like if anybody's interested in my shirts again. So, And then I'll show everybody what they look like, too. Matt Wicker, hey Sparky, hello everybody. We're just popping down to the final couple minutes. Matt, Dwayne Ernest has 59 subs. EJ and E, Jeff, Wesley, that's a great place. Uh, Kenworth, Channel 17, Matt Whitaker, Sparky, hello. School Kill, River Valley has 173. And I didn't read your name backwards that time. How am I doing? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Jack Jack, I got my Teespring store. I'm not happy with my Teespring thing at all. So, uh, new premiere video Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern. That's from BNSF 6951. Redbird Tony 2010 has 317. And Track 10 Trains has 160. And going for 14 September to ride the E5 Redbird. That'd be cool. New design. Uh, my, my Teesprings has a new design. Like I said, I'm not totally sure I like it yet. I'll show you guys next time. So, Alex Brockway, how are ya? Hi, Sparky. Sorry I'm late. I was at the beach. I'm on vacation. I have 108 subscribers. Sweet. 108 is pretty good, bud. Rick Bailey, same here. Jack Jack, see you there. Leslie, get some videos. And the Crooked River and Eastern Railroad, 1,310. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. Going to wrap it up. And um, I got a bit of a mess to clean up tonight just to 
kind of a little bit of a mess, kind of all over the place. But hey, not a big deal. That's what I like about the live streams. I get to make a mess and then I get to spend an hour afterwards cleaning it all up. So, and try speed shirt for tees. Oh, spread shirt for tees. And plan to Ralph. Nice Leslie. Dave's train says 74. The Closet Branch. Good night to everyone. Have a nice trip, Sparky. Thank you very much, Closet. And I'll try to remember to tune in in half an hour for your premiere. Uh, see you all Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. That is our cousin Vinny for his live stream. On track Tuesday, I think is Wilmer coming up this week. And that's at 7 p.m. Eastern. And track smack on Saturdays at 10 has been canceled unofficially for this week. And he's actually talking about taking the summer off because he's a little too busy. So, But don't quote me on that. It's not official yet. So... For the next couple of weeks, we're losing a couple live streams. Ouch. I'm going to go into withdrawals myself. Oh, boy. So, there was a Sparky mention in Alex's last video. I'm going to have to watch that, David. <laughs> I thought I did watch his last video, but unless it was only posted the last couple days. So, And Drew Dudes Model Trains. Peace out. David Atkins, what did you want? So you guys can talk for a couple more minutes. And I'm going to clean up a little bit of this. Put this coffee cup away behind me. Thank you very much, everybody, for checking out the live chat. Participating in the live chat. Always cool. I do like coming back in an hour and uh, reading what everybody said. Little side conversations are kind of cool too. So. Definitely gonna have to clean some of these up. Like I said, I got a whole box of rail cars that are still just covered in like a sooty dirt from that flood. That flood was like two and a half years ago. So I think I'd have these all cleaned up by now. So much other stuff going on though. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Take it easy, and hope you all have a really awesome next three weeks. Until then, Wednesday Night Live Chat, 7 p.m. Eastern, August 28th. So I'll see you guys then. But until then, bye for now.